job is for people to come here, whether it's an 18 year old kid who wants to play NFL football, the new coach, a professor who wants to discover something. My job is for people to realize their dreams. Not only did the chancellor say that it's important to win, they gave us the resources to do the things we needed to do to win. It used to be that our gymnasium was only a, a nice place to be on game night. Now it's a nice place to be every day of the week. I work for you. I work for you. What do you need to be successful? And that's what I tell Tim, that's what I tell Kevin, that's what I tell the deans, that's what I tell the students. You don't want this challenge if you're not ready to put on your seatbelt and say, let's go baby, let's go, let's get this done. You look at your coaches and say, we're about to do something special. It takes a powerful communicator who can meet those kids in the middle and say, fellas, we're going to build an inner circle that no one can get in the middle of, and we're going to turn this thing around. We win more, we graduate more athletes, we have more SEC all academic um, students. Our GPA is a 3.0 or better. No, we're more successful at both because if you demand more, you get more. Our athletes are different, our students are different. I am sometimes amazed when I look at what they're studying and I look at their grades. Um, they are really exceptional kids. You know, when I came over with Coach Corbin to, from Clemson to here, it gave me an opportunity to uh, go play and then uh, the education I got with it is, it's priceless. here and you cross that stage and you get that degree at Vanderbilt, you have choices. I think that degree means um, more than you can put into words. It means a future. It means a career. It means um, success. It means self-empowerment. Whatever you want, you can get. And that's, I don't think other universities um, across the country, or certainly in our conference, can say that. It's tough to make it this way. Wow. Got it. Good stuff! Wow! I mean, I guess that's just a case of knowing your game. I think all of us come to work every day and we say, you know, what can we do today to make this a better place and to make a difference in these people's lives? What I tell people is, if I could go to Vanderbilt, I would. Like, I have not coached at another university that I can honestly say that I would go there if I could. Here's the 3-2. Hey, once you step foot on campus to play baseball for Vanderbilt, I mean, it's not just a home away from home for him. I mean, he's already adopted the, I mean, they've already adopted him as their little brother. And uh, I love it. Chill bumps. I mean, electricity, knowing it. My favorite school is on top of the world this week. Back in the heartland! And he's done it the right way. No problems, good kids, recruits great. He's got more connections than a porcupine, I reckon. I think so, man, he's got some of the best looking boys ever put my eyes on. They are easy. <laughs> What a tremendous start to the inaugural College World Series here in TD Ameritrade Park. Our university brings a special kind of kid. It brings great athletes, great kids, great students, and they compete at the highest level in everything they do. And here's the 0-1. Bunnett, third base side, it's a good one. Johnson Barron, he's throws it away.
I just was overcome with emotion. We went to all the away game. We supported them for so long. I'm just so happy for them. And so you played in the toughest conference. In the, yeah. You sent 12 kids to get drafted in the pros, and they, and they have over a three-point GPA. So, I mean, what else do you want? I just appreciate them. It's, uh, that, again, that's a tough part, leaving this group. But they, they set a standard for kids who come back and want to learn how to do things right.